everybody and welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is Pamela and you already know what kind of video this is gonna be <laughs> by that disclaimer you just seen okay so in today's video we are going to be talking about the company grow with new newt and we're also going to talk a little bit about the Instagrammer plant youtuber that goes by the name of plant me Ashley so if you're interested in hearing everything that's been going on in the plant world in regards to what this company has said to their to their subscribers to their customers then keep on watching <laughs> do have my trusty phone like I always do I'm going to be placing screenshots here and I'm also going to do an individual slide of shots of what the customers are saying what people in the plant community are also saying about this whole ordeal okay so let's just get right into this so everything started a few days ago when the company grow with new they posted this packaging and it specifically says keep plants great again and of course if you're living within the United States of America and even if you're living overseas you understand what that slogan means um, what that slogan is in reference to Donald Trump the current US president and his political campaign to make America great again and basically that entire slogan representing a specific population of the US and more associated with people who are white nationalists um, they are Trump supporters and you know people like that so if you're a democrat or you're a conservative or any other party or your own views in life MAGA make America great again is completely different from everything else it's for one specific type of like mindset person and point blank period so if you're referencing something like that of course it shows a bit of support which is what people are feeling right now so one of their subscribers one of their followers I'm not sure what her association with the company specifically is but she reposted their post and she tagged them saying please reconsider the slogan posted on your packaging and the slogan again is keep plants great again so grow with Newton in response reposted her post and their response to that was do you realize that's not the slogan it's making fun of it quote keep America great not keep America great again so that is what catapulted everything that we're about to talk right now so the owner of grow with new Donovan glass he has his own Facebook page and on that page for Grow With Newt. There were a lot of concerned customers um, who decided to like get in contact with him through there and someone posted, disgusted by the management of the people in this group, I won't be buying Newt again and I'm sure I'm not the only one buy. So Donovan Glass, the owner responded, actually there's only been 11 cancellations. Most people get it. If you're disgusted by this, wow, good luck in life. So then CJ Martinez responded, only prepare for more. Your decision to put this on your product was a bad one. If I'm disgusted by this, I'm doing something right in this world and fighting for equality. Trump is trash and you support him with your trash. So Donovan Glass responded, Yawn, you ain't fighting shit. Full outrage on a Facebook group. Mandy Root responded, what did I miss? What did you put on the bottle and Katie wrote 12 I just emailed mine and then Donovan responded to Katie let's get it to 15 
another person wrote have you heard about newt so they added a statement resembling a certain campaign slogan on their packaging after many rude tone-deaf replies from newt from customers calling them out on it they issued a half-assed apology saying they are an ally well if you cancel your subscription or try to call them out on the issue they will block you on instagram just fyi i tagged them in a story today and they blocked me some allies some apology also they are not worried about the people canceling their subscriptions apparently and this individual posted a screenshot of her being blocked and also the owner donovan glass he wrote all of this noise in 12 hours has resulted in dot 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 13 cancellations wow how will newt survive okay <laughs> so i am going to read in a little bit what donovan glass's statement was his initial statement about what is going on but first i want to address <laughs> This right here is someone who does not give a fuck. Gasp. This is someone who does not care. This is someone who could care less about one unhappy customer, two unhappy customers, 13 unhappy customers, hundreds of unhappy customers. Well, maybe if, you know, we get into, you know, triple digits, then you know there should be action you know done which is exactly what eventually ended up happening why is this happening again time and time again you have these small businesses right and I'm gonna call them small because these are not million dollar companies the, the, the people I've spoken about in the past you know they're small businesses. People who only have themselves to ship out your product or maybe a, f a couple of other people, you know, to help them out, depending on how large scale the order is. Time and time again, these small businesses, these small companies who should be having more of an intimate relationship with their customers with the people who they want to continue subscribing to them, to continue purchasing products from them, why are they the ones constantly disrespecting us? And again, this video is not to bash this company because I have never associated myself with them and I'm happy I did not and I plan on never associating myself with that sort of business or that sort of business mindset or that sort of company because obviously you don't give a fuck about me okay? Gasp. and I don't mean in in regards to the slogan I mean in regards to them literally saying peace out all right bye cool well how is nude gonna survive <laughs> What is going on? Hold on, I need a... I'm, I'm a little thirsty because this is going to be a long video. I don't want to mess up my lipstick. What? <sighs> Ice water. So check out some of these screenshots and I'm going to come back to y'all with a bit more, alright? Seminar. No.
someone on the Grow With Nude page commented to the owner, imagine hating your clientele this much. It's much more than cancellation. It's that those people will tell others in their plant groups who will tell their friends. And that is exactly what happened. People told their friends, their friends posted, their friends reposted, their friends posted they canceled, and then their friends got curious and learned more and canceled and are telling their friends not to do this, not to do that. And the word is spreading. This is common sense. If someone is willing to do this, willing to talk like this in a time and the climate that we're in and not care, they know what they're doing this is this is who they are you why there's no point in waiting for people to tell us who they are when they're literally shouting in your face literally shouting in your face telling you they don't care about you it's not about the slogan anymore it's the disrespect plus the slogan here we go with a white man with a business doing what he does best disrespecting so he responded to her I, I don't hate my clientele at all you'll know this if you interact with me it has to do with bullying now here we go with that word here we go with that word bullying people giving their opinion is like can we stop throwing that word around we're not kids, man. Toughen up. Get some backbone. It's not called bullying. It's called criticism. And obviously, you don't know what that is because any little bit that you get, you get, you're, you're acting like, I'm being bullied. Oh, I don't care. I'm being bullied. Boy, oh, what happened? Now it's bullying? Before you were a tough guy. Now you're, now you're being bullied? Oh, please. Anyways, he said, it has to do with bullying now. Submit and apologize or you're canceled for your view you never had. Then the Lani responded, you're not even sorry. You're telling me that because my view is different, it doesn't matter. And she called him a bigot bitch. So he responded to her, I didn't say that. You're saying the same about mine. Why is yours more valid? And she responded, because I'm someone who faces oppression and telling you they are offended by the box. Why aren't you listening? And he said, okay. Waka faka face. Like, okay. <laughs> like. And she responded, you're literally so gross. OMFG. And he said, not a huge fan of yours either. Bye. And I guess he blocked her. I want to ask you all. How are you feeling about this? The slogans, I'm gonna also post another slogan that a friend of mine sent me from a product she actually purchased from this company and she too has unsubscribed from them. So I'm gonna put across here, I'm gonna try my best to find the many different slogans that their company use, but I have two in front of me that right now. One says, yes, plants can, yes, plants can, and another one is, keep plants great again. So, his choice of slogans obviously was inappropriate, and instead of being defensive, why are you getting defensive about that? I don't get it. All right, so I'm going to read a statement that Bro With Newt posted, and please bear with me. I need another drink of water because this is going to be yet another dissertation. Oh, my God. <sighs> hey, everyone. Just wanted to reset. Take a deep breath and address the issue with the messaging on our packaging. Over the past few years, I took a big risk by leaving my job to build a company, a brand, a product that 
I could be proud of. And I can say with 100% confidence, I'm very proud of what we've built. I'm even more proud of this community we're building. When I woke up to hundreds of messages, not just 11, not just 12, not just 13 anymore, hundreds, okay, remember, hundreds of messages and comments about the messaging in our packaging. I read a lot of comments attacking me as a person. Naturally, I became very defensive because that's not me or how the company wants to be represented. I hope you can imagine at any point in your life you feel personally attacked. Your natural instinct is to turn on a defense mechanism. I appreciate all the positive support and it's still hard to feel personally attacked when the intention was never to hurt anyone. I wish I could go back. I wish you could go without saying, but I and for all of new support, all who seek justice and fair treatment by society and especially under the law. We all understand the current climate that shifted and recently like wildfire. From the beginning, the messaging in our box has been the same with plans to switch things up as we go. No text on the box. We realize that's created controversy we never have expected, but again, given the current political climate, we're here dealing with some unfortunate circumstances and creating a divide within the nude community. It's heartbreaking. <laughs> the entire point of the new packaging is for people to join the green thumb party. <laughs> we're all... Rise. I love the politics of the day and unified around our love for plants. It has always the intent to change up the tax each production run. I'm not American. I cannot vote. I literally go to BLM protests in Portland. <laughs> to close, we won't use a slogan next time that can be misinterpreted so easily. Hope that helps clarify it. Being the youngest of seven kids and a ginger, I get defensive sometimes. Apologies for being flippant about people voicing opinions on it. And I hope the future changes show that I, we, knew care about our customers and community. And scene. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry. All right, listen. I'm going to place the screenshot here. The first section, the first paragraph, he is victimizing himself and victimizing the offender. He is the one that offended people, right? And now he's talking about himself feeling attacked. The second paragraph, this man literally has like is backpedaling and being like, um, I actually didn't mean everything that I said. I actually didn't mean at all anything that I said. Um, I, I'm 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 not gonna stand in 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 my wits and in my in in my truth and what I believe. And I'm just gonna. Um, I, I went on this entire tirade. Like originally, I didn't feel sorry at all, which is why. I was responding and which is why I felt the way I felt but now that hundreds of people are telling me this hmm maybe now I need to think that oh maybe that's better instead of getting concerned when the first person said something and like you said the 12th person the 13th person do you know how television works in order for the FCC to investigate a show 
do you know how many complaints they need they don't need 13 they don't need hundreds it literally takes one one complaint for the FCC to basically go into an investigation on a show on a television that someone has reported the FCC runs your television you run a small company and yet you need hundreds this is why they say money talks you talk with your money people listen when you start impacting their pockets he didn't care how, I don't even know how much this product costs nor do I care because it's listen if I can't buy it in stores I don't want it period point by that doesn't make sense but then you don't care you don't care about one person's opinion you don't care about a dozen's a dozen people's opinions but again when it's impacting your pockets that's when you care that's when you had to think about how you offended us or them or he or she or they you offended you're offending and people are not offended by your slogan a few people were offended by your slogan everyone is offended by your response that's what the problem is people are not unsubscribing because of your slogan People are, people, more, nine times out of ten, people will be like, oh, okay, that's stupid. And they'll throw the box away. Yes, there are going to be some who contact you directly and kudos and claps to them, okay? I am very proud of people who do that. So people are unsubscribing because of you, your attitude as a business owner towards your customers. People are not unsubscribing because of your political views. Cause damn, I just spoke about Home Depot and Lowe's. Like a couple of videos ago. People still shop there. It's about your action. Or lack of action. Your reaction. You're di you're dis disrespectful. That is disrespectful and we need to watch whose pockets we put our money into and there was also connection with another like I mentioned earlier with plant me Ashley and I decided to get in contact with her directly. hey everyone so it's editing Pam here right now I wanted to jump in here really quickly before I continue with the plant me Ashley portion to give you guys an update from what the owner of essentially Newt had to say. So Newt is owned by Donovan Glass, but then Newt is a subsidiary of Liquid Dirt. So, so for example, Coca-Cola is the parent company of Dasani, Coca-Cola, Fanta, to name one of many. So Liquid Dirt is the parent company of Newt and Newt is a subsidiary of Liquid Dirt. So David, a concerned customer, decided to contact Liquid Dirt and this was their response to David. Thank you, David. Unfortunately, I have not seen any of those screenshots. Would it be too much of a burden for you to send a few of those in chat here? So I'm a few those for foundation of which to combat this issue in a more direct manner. Thank you so much and I value you as a Liquid Dirt customer and rest assured you do matter to us. So then Liquid Dirt responded, I'm extremely shocked to hear this. I would value your business and I am so sorry you had such a bad representation from Donovan who owns Newt. He didn't even spell his name correctly by the way. <laughs> this is not a representative of our product our company morals or directives I would be greatly appreciative if you give us a try in regards to this I will set up a meeting to go over this as we will not continue supplying product to someone who is treating customers in this regard I appreciate you letting us know about the situation and we will continue to strive to make sure that all of our customers are happy with our products and services this includes any white label products 
Liquid Dirt is in no way owned by Newt or Donovan. Liquid Dirt is its own company who sells lesser version of Liquid Dirt for a special market that Donovan has mark remarketed under the name Newt. We are the parent company who makes Newt, which is a version of Liquid Dirt that was made and marketed by Donovan of Newt for a specific market for people with one or two houseplants. Liquid Dirt will cover a broader base of plants and a more concentrated version which is not available through Newt. Newt is a completely separate company from Liquid Dirt. They only sell our lesser version, which Donovan relabeled and renamed as Newt. We support all equality for all people. Everyone should have a voice towards a peaceful equality and way of life. We do not support or tolerate any form of discrimination. We believe everyone in this world should be able to grow happy, healthy plants. It has saddened us deeply to hear about the conversations that Donovan himself has had on groups and chat. He is in no way related to Liquid Dirt. We have been saddened by this news and would like it if you could provide us with any screenshots or other communication chains that shows this so we can figure out why this is so against his normal character. We do not support anything in regards to any of this harmful behavior and we have dropped Newt from being able to carry our products. We are not backing any of this behavior at all in any shape or form. We support all equality for all people. Everyone should have a voice towards a peaceful equality and way of life. We do not support or tolerate any form of discrimination. We believe everyone in this world should be able to grow happy, healthy plants. So as you guys can see, this is a statement made by the parent company of Newt. This is literally like Disney saying, we don't support ABC channels anymore because of what they have done. This is a major thing that just happened. So remember, this individual was joking about 11 people, 13 people, all of this uproar overnight. It only led to X amount of people. Yes, you're free to leave. I don't care about your opinion. Their parent company, their owner. So, of course, we're going to see what Donovan is going to do. So, earlier today, I was just checking online before editing the video. And I seen that Donovan actually made a statement. So, an individual posted... I hope what someone posted isn't true, that you lost your supplier? Say it is so! Donovan responded, We talked this afternoon. All good. But even still, I can have formula made elsewhere. Not inconceivable. And then the person responded, Good to know. Uh, did you tell them the claims are completely false and completely made up? Did you show them the stuff like the admin telling a member to defame you another individual asks can i ask what your relationship is with liquid dirt and why people are making such a big deal about it donovan responded they supply our formula they have more ingredients and honestly not a huge fan of it for houseplants and mixing and dilution is annoying to me that's why i created newt i wanted more enjoyment and less risk with growing considering parting ways due to this response but i'm pretty loyal to a fault Another person said, agree. His response seems off to me, which is what I was asking. Either way, I'm in it for the long run. So then Donovan responded in another part. I'm seriously tempted. I don't have much money. Literally never paid myself for Newt yet. Just reinvesting into new packaging. Ah, shit. But now that Newt has volume coming in, I'm seriously considering legal action. It's not okay. Mostly for others that may deal with that. A disagreement may mean you get a, your character tarnished across the internet by 3 to 10 people. No, it's not 
okay, you've busted your ass for this business and you're doing a damn good job. I've never been put into a Facebook group where consumers can interact directly with the creator of the product and are actually heard. You very clearly are passionate. Okay. Whoever responded to him just now in this part, does that make sense? L li listen to this. I've never been put into a Facebook group where consumers can interact directly with the creators of a product and are actually heard. Is it the problem with this whole entire situation is that he is not hearing the consumer? What are you talking about? Please mind your business. <laughs> mind your business because your response just sounds like a person who only reads the title of a news article of an article they go you know they're like oh my gosh i'm 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 drawn by what the title is oh it sounds good to me but they actually don't know what really the what's really happening what's really being spoken about so stop it person whoever you are so now newt through a statement released through liquid dirt is no longer being carried by them they are no longer supporting newt and the way donovan responded it basically does sound like it did happen because he's very nonchalant he's not saying no that's not true he's just like well you know what i can go elsewhere so this comes to show you there is power in numbers there is power in our voices instead of us always coming apart being in, divided when we all put our mind towards something and also something that is the right thing to put your mind towards too look at the things that are able to get accomplished an individual not not even maybe like four days ago was laughing was nonchalant didn't care was he literally was he literally going to say oh how's Newt going to survive oh and now look you 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 have to now find a way to survive because the person who is supplying your formula no longer wants to supply your formula so now you're going to have to source out other sellers, other vendors, and look, it's more of a headache for yourself. Maybe it will be a blessing in the future. Who knows how things will go, but this is what you have to be weary about. This is what you have to be mindful about when you're getting into business. Like I always said in the past, you need to separate your feelings you from the business liquid dirt was quick to separate any relationship they had with newt because they understood in order for them to continue as a business their consumer their customers their voices need to be heard their demands their opinions their recommendations need to be considered and understood and heard Liquid Dirt is not asking us for their ingredients for their formula. We're asking them for it. So they want us to continue to ask them for it because it provides them with money. So this is a lesson to be learned for everyone. Everyone who is trying to become a business owner, who's already a business owner, who has been a business owner, who knows business owners. Your customers, your consumers, they matter. The customer is not always right, but hear them out. There's always room for improvement. There was also connection with another, like I mentioned earlier, with Plant Me Ashley, and I decided to get in contact with her directly. So, Plant Tuber, Plant Me Ashley, apparently she's done product sponsors, 
conversations videos about this company again this is not someone that you know I follow in the past or am currently so I don't keep up I don't keep up with people like I live my life I do my videos and I go back to my business I don't keep up with who's posting who's sponsored by who so uh, apparently a lot of people were getting in contact with her and people were getting offended and saying that her response to their concerns about the keep plants great again post was insensitive so eventually she ended up responding decided to no longer work with newt due to specific online actions and the way that the representative talks to customers online i find it incredibly unprofessional although the product is impeccable the political leaning of the brand is dubious and uncertain as they refuse to make a public statement about all of this my quota is canceled effective immediately and i no longer associate myself with newt because we both have different prerogatives about the current situation and political climate as well as differing opinions on how customer service should be handled to the point where our professional relationship is unresolvable so that is what plant me ashley decided to post online and of course there are a lot of people who were not okay with this people were still like upset at her so i decided to contact plant me ashley and just get a personal statement from her about what she wants you all to know and how is she feeling about you know like her being addressed and being associated with growth Newt. so she responded to me i don't mind being chastised because in the end i was the one promoting them and i didn't do research in their brand when i started working with them because i was so small 800 subs on youtube 1200 on instagram had I had the thought to ask the company its morals before I started working with them, all of this could have been avoidable. Like, I generally had no idea about their morals and ethics until today, which is problematic, and that's on me. The whole point of my post is to take accountability, I guess. I told Donovan privately that his actions were not okay, and I tried to help him understand why. But he refused my help, and he said he wouldn't apologize, which he has since changed his mind. Yes. But I feel the apology is just to save face and not sincere, which bothers me. I'm glad to see this happen so I could I could see nudes true colors. But someone who thinks it's okay to use vulgar language with their clients is not someone I will ever support. He could have just answered everyone's questions to begin with. As a business owner, he should have known better. And that's exactly what I told him. That's all I have to say, really. That's the summary of my post. So I had I asked her another question I said oh yes one more question in regards to Newt there's been some questions and upset followers in regards to you thinking the slogan was funny at first it's seeming as if you finding it funny is you being in agreement so she responded no I never thought it was funny myself but it was intended to be and that's why I said that and I said that to the first person who talked to me about it because I was taking their comment with a grain of salt, which was my mistake. But I can see how it came across as me thinking it's funny. I was just defending Donovan before I knew anything about what was happening. I'm non-existent on Facebook in general and I joined a nude group later that day to see what's going on and I immediately disgusted. it. And I was immediately disgusted. And I immediately texted Donovan to tell him that this wasn't okay so I said thank you for your responses and then she responded so I looked through my text with Donovan and I did originally say was funny and that I didn't have a problem with it but that was before I ever went into a Facebook group to see the arguments for why it wasn't funny and like I said after I saw the argument as well as Donovan was as well as how Donovan was treating people I was disgusted and brought it brought up the topic to him he has since deleted a lot of stuff about it though which is frustrating and he's blocking so many people and I said yes he's apparently doing so don't take step backwards now like you said it's all to save face so that was plant me Ashley's statement in regards to her association with grow with newt and as someone who has worked with companies in the past there is a lack of research into a deep research into the background and political views and morals of the companies that you work with especially if companies are smaller companies that haven't been around for dozens and dozens of years there is a lack of research on our parts i would say so i completely understand her her 
her her her decision to no longer work with them and I definitely respect it because she is also not the only person who on my own timeline has promoted this company has worked with this brand has associated themselves with this brand so I've seen so many people who've purchased and supported them even unsubscribe unfollow them cancel their subscription to the company so I think it's unfair to just attack one person like yes she might have had problematic issues in the past and but that's that this is just one problem we should just focus on grow with Newt and not someone that Newt was paying to promote their product because again there are so many other plant youtubers plant tubers plants the grammars who have associated themselves with this group because that's what brands do they contact people who have an audience and they want their audience to purchase their products so that's what it's about and she's decided to move forward in separate directions from this company financially and that's great for her so that was the plant me actually portion because I seen that she was being attacked again online a lot and I really wanted to know like what's going on what is your stance you know are these attacks justified or are you like yeah I'm pro Donovan I'm pro new and I'm pro keep plants great again but she's not she is for the people and she made I believe in my opinion the right decision another person wrote I do agree it's tone deaf and insensitive you may not see it that way but your customers are pointing it out to you repeatedly MAGA is harmful and making a pun on it is not cool or funny and he responded disagree and someone said disagree about what he said your entire point he also responded to another person that's fine if you disagree but I've seen a lot of negative posts about this in the last 10 minutes and your reaction to your customers is extremely offensive like I said you may not agree but it's upsetting to quite a few people and may cost you and he responded that's fine anyone offended can unsubscribe and leave the group totally acceptable to do that so since all of this has happened the Grow With New Facebook page has been turned off and it says your ability to post or comment in the group until it has been turned off, you know. So he turned it off last night, July 1st at 9.29 p.m. So um, that's pretty much what is going on right now with this company, even until now I'm seeing all over my own personal plants the gram house plant on Instagram people are unsubscribing unfollowing and I don't think this individual this man thought his insensitive comments his rude comments his lack of respect for his customers like the last few people I've spoken about would have impacted his brand his business as much as it did but of course we know he's gonna play the victim role and he's gonna do tattoo tears like the Tati's and the Shane's and um, who else the Trisha's like they're just gonna do the tattoo tears and we're gonna forgive them and we're gonna give them a pat on the back like okay you learned your lesson don't do it again but these this is how these people feel this is how they are you can't change them you can't teach an old dog new tricks like see people for who they are people have been calling him asshole people were calling him a bunch of different words listen there's a difference between of be being defensive right and feeling offended but again it's a business you need to take your personal feelings out of the you know the business and know that you're a business owner you're running a business you have to respect your clientele your audience your customers point by period how do you expect to grow into the hundred of hundred thousands into the millions of customers when you're not respecting one you're not respecting the ones that got you where you are 
yes your hard work got you where you are but people also had to support you so your supporters you've disappointed and that's disgusting I don't support this company I have never supported this company and I never planned on supporting this company and I never plan on supporting this company this is rude this is disgusting that's just rude you don't care and don't pretend like you care now that you're like you said you've lost you've gotten hundreds of complaints now now you care save me the bullshit miss me with the bullshit okay miss me with the motherfucking bullshit okay save it so I want you all to give me your opinion on this topic how are you feeling about all the screenshots I showed you the conversation that the owner of girl with nude has had with his concerned clientele his concerned customers and people who have been supporting his business for like he said the last two years and leave that below how are you feeling are you okay with being treated that way or seeing someone treat your cohorts that way because I don't think that's cool at all. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please let me know by giving a thumbs up and sharing. Subscribe if you aren't already. Join this little kooky family because we're pretty awesome here. Be part of the houseplant community. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified every single time I upload a new video. And don't forget to let me know down below your opinions and thoughts on this whole entire debacle ordeal that's happening in the plant community. And I will see you on the next one. Let's get growing. Bye.